In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to make the very best first person mode in your Fortnite creative map. Epic Games gave us the camera orbit device. You can use this device to make your character in first person in Fortnite creative. All right, this is the maximum devices that we're going to need. A couple of these are optional and I will let you know when it comes to it. What I'm going to do for this video is go through all of the modified settings for the devices first and then I'm going to show you all their events and functions. So follow along. If it helps you to pause the video and take a look at the settings, go ahead and do that. But trust me, this system is the best way to get first person working correctly in your Fortnite. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do, place down a camera orbit device. I renamed this device camera standing. Let's take a look at the modified settings. Field of view, I put that at 115. You could put that at 120 if you want. Priority one, distance zero, X, Y, and Z offsets are 29, 0, and 73. Horizontal speed, crank that up to the max, 1,000. Clamp vertical rotation, negative 70, and max 90. Put the transition time down to 0, and the collision times down to 0 as well. Copy that device right here for the second one. Name that one camera sprinting. Add to players on start is off. Remove on elimination is on. Field of view, I put this one 120 because when you're sprinting, this camera is going to turn on and we want the field of view to be a little bit wider. Priority three, distance zero. Offsets are 40, zero, 73. Horizontal speed, vertical speed, 1000. The same vertical rotation clamps and the same low transition time. All right, the last camera orbit device. Add players to start off, remove on elimination on. Field of view 15, this needs to match the standing device. This is the crouch device we're working on now. Priority two, distance zero. X, Y, and Z offsets are 35, five, 30. Horizontal speed is all the way up, of course. Rotation clamps are on, of course. And transition times are all zero. Okay, next up is the switch device. This device is important and its modified options are actually really simple. Turned off the sound, store state per player needs to be on yes, and check state when disabled need to be on yes. These are crucial settings. Next is the input trigger crouch. Creative input needs to be on custom three, which is crouch, show on HUD off. Registered player behavior needs to be ignored registered. Input trigger jump device. Creative input, custom four, jump, ignore registered. Copy that one more time for the input trigger sprint. Creative input custom five is sprint. Registered player behavior is ignore registered. Copy that sprint device again, and we're gonna have a second sprint device, creative input seven, forward, backwards. Axis direction is positive, ignore registered. Then we're gonna have our final input trigger over here. This one is gonna be for aim down sight. Creative input, custom to, target, registered player, ignore registered players. With this device, when it comes time for gameplay, if this device is enabled, what it's gonna do is make it when you aim down your scope of a weapon or you aim down sight, it's gonna remove the devices and put you back into third person so you can use scoped weapons on your map. If you don't wanna use this device and you just wanna have everything hip fire, you don't wanna do it at all, just make enable the game start off. Our final device is the post process device. We're gonna use this to make our sprinting look better. This is completely optional. If you don't wanna do it, that's perfectly fine. Enabled on phase none, post process effect, action lines, and the starting strength and blend in strength, 0 0.05. This makes it so when you're sprinting, it looks like you're going faster. All right, so now is the harder part. We are going to go over all the functions and events. Remember, if you need to pause the video to take a look at the settings, go ahead and do that. If you hook it up correctly, it will work amazing. We're going to hook up all the devices, and then we're going to verify them by looking at the switch last. Take a look at the camera standing device. Functions are add to player when receiving from, switch crouch, turned off, and switch crouch on check result off. Also, remove from player 
when receiving from. Switch crouch, on turned on. Switch crouch, on check results on. Input trigger ADS, on input pressed. Let's go over to our sprinting camera. Add to player when receiving from. Switch crouch, turned off. Switch crouch, on check results off. Input trigger sprint, on input pressed. Remove from player when receiving from. Switch crouch, turned on. Switch crouch, on check result on. Input trigger sprint to, on input released. Input trigger ADS, on input pressed. Now for the crouching camera. Add to player when receiving from, switch crouch on turned on, and switch crouch on check result on. Remove from player when receiving from, switch crouch turned off, switch crouch on check result off. Input trigger ADS, on input pressed. All right, now let's hook up these input triggers. The input trigger crouch has no functions, it only has one event. On input pressed, have your switch toggle state. Input trigger jump, have your switch turn off. For the input trigger sprint device, on input pressed, post process sprint enable for instigator. Camera sprinting, add to player, and have your switch turn off. Okay, now we're on the second input trigger for sprinting. On input released, have your post process disable for instigator. And then on input released, camera sprinting, remove from player. Okay, let's do our final input trigger. This is for input trigger ADS, no functions. The events are as follows. On input pressed, camera sprint, remove. Camera crouch, remove. Camera standing, remove. On input released, have your switch check state. Now let's check out this post process. This is gonna be hooked up the same as the sprint. The functions are enable for instigator, input trigger sprint, on input pressed, disable for instigator, input trigger sprint to, on input released. Okay, now for the switch device. We've already hooked up a lot of these devices to the switch, but if you see something in here that I go over that isn't already hooked up, you need to make sure it is hooked up. And this is the final device. After this, we are good to go. For the functions of the switch, turn off when receiving from, input trigger sprint, and input trigger jump. Both of them need to be set to on input pressed. Toggle state when receiving from input trigger crouch, on input pressed. And finally, check state when receiving from input trigger ADS, on input released. All right, this is the last step. We're gonna verify all the events. On turned on, send to camera sprinting, remove. Camera crouch, add. Camera standing, remove. On turned off, send to camera sprinting, add to player. Camera crouch, remove. Camera standing, add. On check results on, send to camera sprinting, remove. Camera crouch, add. Camera standing, remove. Okay, this is the last bunch. On check results off, send event to camera sprinting, add. Camera crouch, remove. Camera standing, add. All right, that's it. That's every single event and function to set up this device. Let's test it out and show you what it's like. So we start the game. You notice when I sprint, I get the action lines around the sides of my screen that let me know that I'm sprinting. And when I unsprint, they go away. I can aim down my scope and it pulls me out of the first person device and into my aim down sight for my weapon. When I release it, I'm back to first person. We can shoot our weapon, we can crouch and uncrouch whenever we want. If we crouch, our camera drops down, we can aim down sight while we're crouched. If we unaim down sight, it puts us back, stand up, we can crouch again. Okay, and remember this is with the ADS device enabled. If I pick up a weapon while this device is enabled that doesn't have a scope, like this striker, See, I can hold it in my hands and shoot it while I walk around, but if I aim down the sight, it's going to pull me into third person. But if you want to prevent people from aiming down the sight with a scopeless weapon, you need to turn that ADS device off. This works really well if you have weapons that don't have a scope, like this primal assault rifle. 
because when I aim down the sight, it makes me walk slower and it makes me more accurate, but it does not take me out of first person. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I know that it's a little complicated and kind of a more advanced tutorial. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Whatever first person map you are trying to make, I hope you can get it working and feel free to reach out if you need any help.